welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Bible collection as you could have guessed from the title of this video. I hope you guys are subscribed to this channel for awesome things that are coming before this year ends and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you find it insightful or you enjoy yourself watching it. So let's just get started. So really quickly, I just want to do a disclaimer saying I know and I'm very much aware that there are people around the world that do not even have the privilege of owning a single Bible. And to a certain extent, I do feel kind of, no, I don't want to say guilty, but I do happen to have a lot of Bibles, and it's unnecessary, but it's just happened. I've grown up in church. I've had many Bibles throughout my lifetime, and at this moment of my life, I happen to have a lot. Um, so if you are one of those people that do not own a Bible because you can't afford it or you've never had that opportunity, um, I hope and I pray that one day you are able to have a Bible because it is necessary for our faith. So with that said, let's just go right ahead. So I'm going to show you guys the ones that I still have to this day chronologically, um, at least as best as I could remember. So the first one is this one, which you are probably thinking, okay, Martha, we're already off to a bad start. That's not even a Bible. Uh, kind of, I would say... Uh, this was a New Testament Bible, um, and it was like in a magazine kind of way, which I really liked, and I thought it was so awesome. You can tell how old it is because the glue is like not doing so well. I got this when I was in middle school, I would say probably 8th grade around that time because there was a lot of things going on in my life. Um, that I hope to share one day in the future. And this was actually given to me, and it's just the New Testament, except it's in a magazine form, and it has cool articles, and it had, like, quizzes, like a magazine, and it had, like, makeup tips. It had just lots of really cool things, and it's so old. The hot music of the time was Mercy Me, uh, the album Undone. Yeah. I'm not sure if they still make these. I love this. I hope that they still make these. If you're like in middle school or if you have a daughter that's, you know, a middle school age, this would be a really cool gift. This one was cool. So, still in middle school, I got this Bible, which is an NIV translation. And I actually got this, believe it or not, at Goodwill for like, I don't know, four bucks. And I really just liked the color. This was my first NIV Bible that I had. So I really liked the translation, especially being in middle school. It was really handy. Again, we have like those tabs in the beginning. Um, some of them, like for example, this one is not mine. It was from the previous owner, so I just left it there because I thought, why not? But there's other ones like this one that is my handwriting. Um, and then you can tell that I've been doing this for like forever. It just says, gossip leads to condemnation in Matthew chapter 12. And yeah, so I like this one. And from Goodwill, that's pretty good. The next one that I had was this one. Now this is my quinceanera Bible. So it was given to me and it was really nice because my quinceanera was purple themed and um, I love purple. It's my fave color and it has glitter. So I think this was a child's Bible but they gave it to me because it was purple and they wanted to go with the theme. And inside they just put, sorry, Josh 1.8. Uh, you should look it up if you don't know that verse. And this one, because it's my quinceanera Bible, I don't write on it. I actually don't really even read this one because this is a... I don't know what version this is. My mom is calling me. Monday. I don't know what version this is, but it's like a children's version. So I don't 
<laughs> open this one. This one is kept somewhere safe so that it remains intact for future. Um, okay, so this next one was given to me by my Spanish teacher in high school. As you guys know, I started a Christian club in high school, and she had collected a lot of resources that she um, gave to me. She was Christian as well, but she gave it to me. I thought it was cool. I've had it because it's a good Bible, and yeah, I like how they always have like, mini lessons inside of them. Uh, I don't really use this at all. I think this is more made for like guy athletes to be honest, um, which I am neither a guy nor an athlete. So yeah, I kept this because it was special that my Spanish teacher gave it to me. And yeah, <laughs> the next one, which I showed you guys what's in my Bible a couple weeks ago, but I totally failed to show you the actual Bible that I have. Um, I completely just forgot. I don't know why. So I'm going to go ahead and show you now. So this is by far my fave Bible that I own. It's been with me through a lot. Uh, this is my Bible. And this is an NIV translation. Again, I got this at Ross for like 15 bucks one day. The one and only time I've ever seen a Bible at Ross. I thought it's the cutest thing. If you can't tell, I love green and pink. It's everywhere in my room. And when I saw this, I died. I had to get it. My dad bought it for me. Um, and yeah, this has been with me through everything. At one point, I even started writing the places I would take it to with like North Carolina, Miami, Orlando. But then I just started going to too many places that I wasn't able to even jot it down. Yeah, I've had this since middle school. You guys have already seen it inside of the Bible, but I just wanted to show you outside. I love this Bible. I'll always keep this Bible. And this is a Bible I always go to. So my next Bible I got when I was in high school as well. This one was when I started my club. My club was under the Youth Alive Ministry. So if you signed up as a campus missionary, you got a cool swag bag. And in the bag came this Bible. And I love this Bible. These are amazing. I cannot stress it enough how good this Bible is. It is also an NIV translation, but on the website they have lots of different translations that you can get. And this one breaks down everything for you on the bottom of the page. So if you read about how Jesus heals many in the bottom, it'll talk about it more in depthly and kind of simplify it and give you background as well. And then it also includes like lots of other different things like tables and articles and like basics like what is um, baptism, what is sin, what is heaven, what is hell. And it just is such a good Bible for anybody who is looking for a study Bible. I recommend this one. This is a student edition. They have lots of different ones. They have kids versions. They have adult versions. Um, yeah. Cannot stress it enough. If you don't have a fire Bible, you need to get a fire Bible. This is not sponsored. This is just me letting you know that this one is really great. Just for you guys, I'll include a link down below that will take you to a lot of discounted fire Bibles so that you can grab one for yourself. Okay, and the last Bible and the most recent addition to my collection is this Creative Journaling Bible, aka Bible Journal. My only downside, I would have liked for this to be a little bit different in the cover. I love I love that it has the rose gold. That was a huge selling factor for me. I absolutely loved how they did it. It was very well thought out. So you have your blank area on this side, so you can doodle whatever you want. Then you have this lined area so that you can take notes. And of course, if you want to doodle, that's totally fine. Um, then they also like have their own illustrations that you can color in like every other page or so. And then for the books, they do a nice decoration for each and every book. And I really like that. So a lot of the um, 
Bible journals, they're either just lined or a lot of them have too many illustrations and I wasn't a fan of the illustrations. This one, I really like the illustrations. Um, I really liked how they had a variety of lined and open and I loved the style of the whole Bible. When I was going to get my Bible journal, I didn't want another NIV Bible because I have too many. I was gravitating towards the English Standard Version, but for this particular Bible, they only had the Modern English Version, which I was okay with. I liked it. Um, I thought it was a good version. I really like this. I like that it's a book. I know a lot of them are like um, more like leathery and flexible like this one but I personally liked this one and maybe in the future I'll get one of those like more journaly looking ones um but yeah so far I just got this like literally two weeks ago so so far I've only done one entry so I did this one with a colored pencil because I have no bible journaling material stuff I need to start my collection um, but I liked it. The other reason I got this Bible was because of the price point. It was very affordable, even though it was discounted. This one is only... So this one was only $21.99. And then at the time that I purchased it, there was a 30% off um, discount on all the Bible journals. So it was extremely affordable. I loved it. I loved everything about it, just except that I would have liked the cover to be a little bit more simple, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I love this Bible. Check it out if you'd like. And that's pretty much all, you guys. I know maybe to some of you guys, you're like, whoa, too many Bibles. I know, I know. I use all of them. Well, that's not true. I don't use all of them. Some of them, like this one, I kept away because, you know, it's reminiscent of old times. Most of the other ones I still use for different reasons. So like this one, you guys know I take this one to church with me. This one is this one is my study Bible. And then now this one is my journaling Bible. So I have a lot. It just has happened. And I don't want to feel guilty of it. I don't know. Do me a huge favor before this video ends, leave a comment down below of your favorite Bible translation. Mine is NIV, but I'm starting to branch out into the other ones, and I want to know which ones you guys personally like. So let me know it down below, as well as what your Bible is, what your favorite type of Bible is, whether it's leathered or book, whatever it is. Let me know it down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, do so down below because you will not regret it. I promise you that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye!